In this video, I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to create a notebook to sell on Amazon KDP. Summer is fast approaching and parents are going to be shopping for composition notebooks for their kids. Yes, they have composition notebooks at Dollar Tree and Walmart, but the ones on Amazon KDP are appealing to a specific audience. The books on Amazon are really decorated, right? So they're going to have princess or frogs or food. And so parents are going to be interested in that because it speaks to their child. So if you are ready to create composition notebooks, then this video is for you. Hey, if you're new here and hey, 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 if you are coming back, my name is Shanice and my purpose is to ensure that online money makers are able to one, maximize your presence and two, increase your sales. And my goal for this video is to teach you exactly how you can go about creating composition notebooks to sell on Amazon. So this is our agenda for today. We're going to be talking about what exactly is Amazon KDP? Why should you sell composition notebooks? How do you go about creating a KDP account? How do you find niches for KDP? We're also going to talk about creating your journal um, interior as well as your cover. And then a couple of things that you can do beyond Amazon KDP. What is Amazon KDP? So Amazon KDP is a self-publishing platform. This simply means that if you have a book that you want to sell, you can actually put that book on Amazon. So Amazon is going to take care of the shipping, the printing, the packaging of that book and send it to your customer. And all you need to take care of is your intellectual property, right? So your creativity, putting your book into the world. Now, Amazon KDP does allow people to publish not just novels or nonfiction books, but also things like journals, diaries, log books, coloring books. So the options are really endless. It's just that Amazon only offers a paperback or a hardcover version of their books. Now, if you're just starting out on Amazon KDP, I know a lot of things can seem overwhelming. Even videos like this can sometimes be overwhelming if you're new. And so I do have a free book publication checklist, which you can download. I'm going to leave that link in the description of this video so that you are able to go ahead and grab that. And so with that checklist, it's really going to help you to stay on track as you're looking to publish your first book on Amazon. So why should you sell composition notebooks? Well, Typically, composition notebooks are going to be bestsellers around the summer months, right? So back to school is coming up. Parents are going to be shopping for supplies for their kids. And so composition notebooks are big sellers around that time. Additionally, the possibilities are literally endless with composition notebooks. There are so many things that you can tap into. So you're not going to go with the standard blue and white, black and white composition notebook. Instead, you're going to create something really specific. So this could be princesses, this could be frogs, this could be fruit as I have here in this case. So you are really trying to niche down as much as possible in order to reach a specific or ideal target audience. Now, typically the book size for this, the interior is going to be about 7.5 by 9.75. That is standard for composition notebooks. If you are creating a book with 150 pages, the cover size is going to be 9.5 by 15.55. And so that is just the sizing that you would need to use to create your books. So how do you go about creating a KDP account? Well, it is really simple. All you need to do is go to kdp.amazon.com. Once you are there, you are going to click on join KDP and it's going to ask you to sign in with your Amazon account. So with your Amazon shopping account, that is what you can use to sign into KDP. So how do you find niches and keywords? Well, one way is to browse best sellers on Amazon. So if you simply go over to Amazon and look at the best selling books list, you can just kind of browse through, kind of see what's trending from time to time. You will find like low content books on this page. So it's just a nice way to kind of see the different designs that people are using, see what colors are reoccurring. So right now I'm seeing lots of blue. So it seems like people are kind of designing most of their books with blue for some reason so that is something that you could tap into as you look to design your cover we also see that there's this children's book on the list so my first learn to write workbook 
Um, so that's also giving you an idea of books that you could possibly create. So this is not saying to copy any books, but this is saying that you can look and get inspired by some things that you see on this list. Another thing you could do is just to simply search composition notebooks or search whatever book you're looking for and just kind of see what pops up on the first page. So these books are typically going to do their best, you know, maybe in two, two more months from now. And so it's going to be kind of hard to get a fair, um, estimation of the bestsellers ranking on these but that doesn't mean that you should not create them so basically what you would do is just continue to browse through here on amazon see what jumps out at you see what you get inspired by check the bestsellers rating on some of these books and then from there you will be able to make a decision as to what to create so this is another one that i just saw as i was scrolling and as we can see with this book they are at 53 964 which means that this book has been selling even though it is not you know the time when people are typically buying composition notebooks now another way you could find um, keywords and niches is to use a tool like book bolt so i do have a free trial of book bolt available for you guys Guys, if you click the link in my description, you can start for free on BookBolt and it's really going to help you to find keywords, to find niches, right? So this is an amazing tool and with a BookBolt, you can actually create your books in there as well. So awesome, awesome tool. They do have, as I said, that BookBolt studio to help you as you look to create your book. Of course, you can also create based on your passion or experience. So something that is specific to you or just something that you want to put out in the world, you can do that as well. And the last thing here is you can book a chat with me and we can actually brainstorm. So we can brainstorm niches, different ideas, and I can really help you to get started with creating your books. How do you create your journal interior? So before we dive into this, I just want to let you all know that I will be sharing a number of different ways that you can go about creating things in this video. It's not a video that is going to be talking about one specific product or one specific person at all. So there are a number of different ways that you can go about creating your books. So one way is to create it in Canva and you can do this yourself and I'm going to quickly show you. So this is one that I created. All I did was add a page. I went over here to file in Canva. I added on guides, right? So guides is going to help you to really be more specific with where you're putting the lines. Composition notebooks typically have anywhere from 32 to 33 lines. So you put that on there and then all you would need to do is get some grab, um, just a line, a shape, a line. You can so make the line smaller by clicking right up here, turning this down, the line weight to one. And all you need to do is basically go through and kind of match, right? So line up the lines that you have with the guide. So duplicate and just keep doing that all the way through and through until you are done. Now, once you're done with that, you do need to get a vertical line. So again, you take one, you would rotate it, you would drag it down, drag it to the top. You would put it about one inch. So if you have your margins on, you can see where one inch is. So you would put this at about one inch, make sure it extends all the way. And again, you would turn that line weight down. Once you are done, you can turn off your guides. So clear your guides and you can see that you have the lines on the page, right? So of course you would do this for the entire page. Once you're done, it's going to come out like this. And this is going to be your composition notebook. Then what you would do is click on the grid view. You can't see it because I'm using my wide screen, but there's a button at the bottom that looks like four squares. You would click on that and then you would just go through and duplicate. And that is how you would get to 150 pages. Now, when it comes to running a business, you have the choice of investing your time or your money. So of course, doing this is going to take some time. So another option is to actually purchase a subscription on Creative Fabrica. Now, if you are here on my channel, you have the opportunity to click the link in my description and actually get a free trial of Creative Fabrica. So they're gonna give you 10 items completely free. Of course, you do have to put in your credit card information and things like that, but you can download up to 10 items for free. And these are commercial use, right? So they're commercial use, 
fully print on demand that is what creative fabrica does so you still want to read their terms and conditions but essentially what i'm saying is that they're going to have things that you can use and they do have interior templates as well creative fabrica is a very valuable tool to have right so a lot of times you're going to be creating new books you want new things you can find lots of different journals niches keywords and things like that on creative fabrica so it may be worth it for you to keep that subscription but you definitely don't have to if you don't want to at least when you're first starting out another option is to download from bookbolt so as i shared earlier bookbolt is really all inclusive so not only can you do your keyword research but you can also get interior files, cover files, do your design in there. Like Bookbolt is completely, completely, completely full service. So that is another way that you can get um, your interior. Another option is to get commercial use templates from me. So I have just started putting out my templates for commercial use and you can purchase them. So here on my website, I have it on Shanice DK Designs still, but I'll put that link for you guys in the chat. So I do have a kid's prompt journal i also have the composition notebook interior i have a six by nine journal interior and then i have a savings challenge so basically what i've been doing is the templates that i create for myself i'm going to create a commercial use version and i'm gonna list those on shanice dk designs in case anyone wants to purchase them and of course, YouTube members do get templates from me for free. I typically put out anywhere from one to two templates each month. So if you are a YouTube investor here on my channel, then these are the files that are there for you if you have not downloaded yours as yet. So of course we have the free book creation spreadsheet and this really just helps you to get started with creating your book. So it's going to help you to be mindful of your book title, your subtitle, your keywords, your categories and things like that. So I also have the composition notebook template in there as well. So you would just open the PDF, click on composition notebook. It's going to bring you over to Canva because everything is fully editable. And so here you can see um, this is the template that I have. I just want to say thank you all so much for becoming members here on my channel. And I hope that you can truly use these files in your business. All right, so now that you have your interior, whichever way you choose to create it, there is the cover that needs to be created. Again, you can do this in Canva. You can purchase graphics on Creative Fabrica to use so that you're not really using a lot of the Canva graphics. You can also create this from Bookbolt or in Bookbolt. And of course, as I said, I'm going to go ahead and add that size template for you guys as YouTube members so it's easy for you to go ahead and create your cover. So here is a sample cover that I've created and I actually created this using the Canva AI. So if we simply duplicate this page, it's really easy to just kind of delete the background and add your own. So here in Canva, what you would do is go to apps. So when you click on apps, you're going to search for magic media. This is going to be the Canva AI. Here, I'm going to go ahead and type in frog pattern and click on landscape because we do want it to be you know landscape mode and then generate image so let's see what pops up so we can already see some really nice images popping up of course you want to be real careful with magic media because sometimes you know it looks a little weird so this one is really nice and this one as you can see the frogs are looking kind of morphed it's not even you know i don't even know so we're going to delete that one Let's take a look at this one. This one actually looks decent as well. The frogs have little different eyes and things. I don't know. We're going to stick with this one though. So what you could do is you can change this to make it look like your own. So you can edit photo. You can remove the background. You can also play around with different filters, which is going to help you to kind of change the colors of the frogs. Another thing that you could do is you can actually click on adjust right here scroll all the way down to color edit and this is actually going to really let you edit the colors of the frog right so even if you wanted to kind of separate them out make the frogs different colors change different things on the frogs you can definitely do that as well so i'm gonna go ahead and say mine is the pink frog we're gonna call it the pink frog notebook or something like that so you can you know stretch it out like this if you want if you want them to be a little smaller you can kind of do that and then you can kind of duplicate and kind of do it how you want to so for purposes of this video we're just going to keep it simple i'm going to stretch it out we're going to go ahead and layer this behind 
the um, other elements that we have on here. Now there's another way that you can layer this. You don't have to individually go ahead and just kind of do this. So you can click on position up here. And then when you click on position, you click over to layers and you can actually drag it wherever you want, right? So you can do that. That's another way that you could do it. So you just keep dragging it down. I want it to be right there. So that's another way that you can go about layering, right? So this is actually looking really cute, you guys. So I'm actually gonna leave this as is just for purposes of this video. Of course, this frog is looking a little weird, so I may wanna blur him out. One thing you could do is you can always take a shape, put it over it as best as you can, cover it up, and just turn the shape into yellow, cool? So that is one thing you could do. And then you could always like duplicate this, crop out what you don't need. So like crop to get a frog that actually looks good. Like this one looks really good. So crop to get this frog. And then just drag, drag this frog up there. Oh, I didn't crop properly. Perfect. And then just drag, drag this frog up here. Of course, I don't think I matched the yellow on the background properly. So you want to make sure that the yellow on the background is completely the same as the new yellow. So use this pen dropper to kind of do that matching. Draw, drag this little frog guy over here and boom, we have a new frog. So just different ways that you can go about just making your covers and utilizing AI to help you out. So once you're done with your cover and your interior, you do need to upload it onto Amazon KDP. Now this video right here, how to actually sell books on Amazon is going to show you exactly how to go about uploading your book to KDP. I don't want this video to be too long, you guys. So I'm just gonna allow you to check out this video for the exact upload tutorial. So it's gonna start at about 12 minutes and 41 seconds into the video is where I start the upload process. And literally all of this video is walking you through step-by-step step how to go about uploading your book. So I highly recommend that you check out this video just so we don't spend, you know, this video is way too long because I have to show, you know, another 15 minutes of uploading your book, which I've done before on this channel. So once you have your book uploaded to KDP and it starts to sell, now you need to think about what are you going to do beyond Amazon KDP? So if you are looking to run a stationary business, you guys, I do have a vendor list for you. And with the vendor list, you get to create other types of journals. So KDP is only going to offer you a paperback or a hardcover. But if you want to create journals that look like these, then you definitely want to go ahead and grab yourself a copy of my vendors list. And I'm actually going to share with you guys a comment that I read the other day. So someone commented on my video and they were basically saying you should get this vendor list because the things in this ebook, they took two years, you guys, two years to learn that information, to gather that information. So this is not to say that you won't be able to gather this information by yourself. You definitely can, but this is going to help you to speed up that process. So definitely go ahead and give this vendor list a try. I'm going to link it here for you guys on this video because you know I got my Shopify now. <laughs> so I'm going to link it on this video so you guys can access it real, real easy. Now that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Shanice and it has been such a pleasure sharing this information with you. Now if you have any question as it concerns, you know, starting a business, starting on Amazon, finding keywords, niches, marketing your books, drop me a comment below. I would love to answer your question and I can even answer your question in a video because right now I'm in my video season. Okay. So let me know if you guys have any questions. All the best with creating your books. Until next time, keep designing your dream life and business. Go ahead and check out some additional videos on my channel and I'll see you around. Bye.